Okay, we have two improper integrals on the spot. The first one, the integral from e to infinity 1 over x times L x dx. And then the second one, the integral from e to infinity 1 over x times the parentheses with L and x inside, and then raised to the second power dx. Which of this right here actually converges? Why don't you pause the video and give them a try? Okay, so let me just demonstrate. This is how we should work out improper integrals whenever we can actually integrate them, right? Know your integrations and believe in your limits. And both of this right here, we can actually integrate. Let's look at the first one right here. We have to first integrate 1 over x times L and x. How can we do that? Well, I see that I have L and x right here, and I know the derivative of L and x is 1 over x, right? And I have the 1 over x right here. So I'm just going to do this with u substitution. So let me just get to work. Let u equals to L and x, and you know du is equal to 1 over x dx. And I'd like to just show you guys the cancellation. So let me multiply x on both sides. In another word, dx will be x times du. And depending on how you want to do it, if you want to change the limits from e to infinity in terms of x into in terms of u, and then just finish everything in the u world, that will be great as well. So I will do that. This is going to be the integral. Originally, I have e, right? But this is for x. x is equal to e. Well, I want to change that to u. In that case, that will be, I will plug in e into x. L and e is equal to 1. So this right here will be u is equal to 1, right? It's a different starting value in the u world. And when we have the infinity here, this is for the x, but if you put down infinity into this x here, well, we know ln of infinity is still infinity, right? So in this case, u will also go to infinity. And we have 1 over this x, let me just put it down, and the ln x is the u, so let me write it down as u. And the dx is x du, so this is what we have. And now, you see that the x and x cancel each other out, right? And all I have to do is integrate 1 over u in the u world. And the answer for that will be ln absolute value of u. I finish with my integration. And I don't want to change that back to the x world, because I can just finish everything in the u world. With that being said, I can just plug in values where u is equal to 1 up to u is equal to infinity. And when we are plugging infinity, in fact, we're taking limits, okay? But this is just a shorthand to write this kind of improper integral, integrals down. Anyways, plug infinity, taking the limit of ln when u approach to infinity, right? That's a legit way to say it. And then plugging 1 by subtract, of course. So minus ln absolute value of 1. Okay, what is ln of infinity? It is infinity. <laughs> 1 in the ln. Uh, is zero. So this right here is just infinity, right? In other words, this integral right here diverges, right? And done deal. That's it. And now let's go ahead and work this out. Maybe when we have more ln's on the bottom, it will be helpful, right? Remember, this means ln x times ln x, and we still have the x all the way in the front. But anyways, this is actually a good form because I can also use the u substitution. And let me just do this real quick. The u to be ln x, and then you see du will be 1 over x dx, and dx is the same as x du. Everything is pretty much the same from there. And you will see this is going to be, OK, x is going from e to infinity. But if you change that into the u world, u will be going from 1 to infinity, just like that, right? OK, we still have 1 over x. And then in this case, now it will be u squared, OK? So we have x times u squared. dx is x times du. And once again, the x and x cancel out. But we have to integrate 1 over u squared. OK, let me just put on one more line. This is going to be integral. u goes from 1 to infinity, all right? So let me just. No, I don't want to write on u anymore. You should know that already. And we'll finish everything in the u world. Let me just change this to u raised to the negative 2. And then we still have the du. So that I can use the p 
power rule, but backwards. I will add 1 first. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And then I will divide it by this new exponent, which I'll put this down as 1 over negative 1. Okay, so now the integral for this, it will be negative 1, which is right here, right? Negative 1. And we will have u to the negative 1 power. So let me just uh, write it down as u, u to the negative 1. So let me put down the u in the denominator like this. Right? u to the negative 1 just over u. All right, now plugging numbers. 1 here and then plugging infinity, technically taking limit, right? But this is just a shorthand way to write it. Plugging infinity, take the limit as u goes to infinity of this, 1 over infinity, and then minus plugging 1 here, so negative 1 over 1. Okay, so right here, when we have a number that's not infinity on the top, so a non infinity over infinity, in fact, here we can draw a conclusion. Negative 1 over infinity, this is just going to be 0. So that's good. And you see, we have negative, negative 1. So we have plus 1. Altogether, the answer is just 1, isn't it? And you see, we have a nice, ans nice number right here. That means this will be the nice answer for that. Right here, this integral converges. And we know it much better than just it converges because we know this integral converges to positive 1. Alright, so this right here will be the response for that. That's it.